coming up next at 6. Vision. There's promising new research that could help surgeons in the future more safely remove brain tumors. Doctors are currently studying the safety of using what's called tumor paint to highlight significant areas of the brain. Ursula Perry reports it could make dangerous tumor removal a bit easier. In Christmas Day, he vomited um, the first thing in the morning. And I kept taking his temperature all day. Laura Kaufman knew something was wrong with her son Hunter, but had no idea he had a brain tumor. They found the mass, and about 10 minutes later, we were walking up to put him into surgery. The family agreed to allow Hunter to be part of a study at Seattle Children's Hospital, lighting up his tumor during surgery using tumor paint. About a couple weeks later, he was up and walking and going back to his normal self. It was absolutely amazing. Dr. Jim Olson was inspired by a patient and using a molecule in scorpions that binds to cancerous tumors, he created a drug that makes the cancer stand out for surgeons. You don't want to just take a big margin around the cancer like you would for other types of cancer because that could be the part of the brain that's important for speech or thinking or remembering. Tumor paint has been used in 75 patients across four phase one clinical trials. This first part of the study is focused on safety and it looks promising. The fact that um, the tumor tissue itself fluoresces and, the f and that we can actually see that um, differentiation between normal tissue and abnormal tissue um, is really going to be a valuable tool for our surgeons to use in the future. So far there have been no side effects from the paint. Now they're taking a look to see whether other forms of cancer could use it like breast cancer. It's expected to be approved by the FDA in 2019. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.